What's going on guys, my name is Tom from Dread Labs and today we're going to make a 3D chain Instagram filter. Dread Labs. Okay, so usually when you start out making an Instagram filter, you start out in Spark AR, um, but today we want to make a 3D object first. So in this first video, I'm going to show you how to make the 3D chains and in the second video, which will go up later, I'll show you how to import it into Spark AR Studio. So let's just get started. So coming with Spark AR is a couple of face assets and this is an FBX uh, 3D object of a face mesh uh, that you can just download from Facebook and I'll put a link up in the description for this. And I drag this into Cinema 4D and let's just try to create a first chain link. So let's just make this one invisible for, for a second. And let's zoom in. And let's start out with a rectangle. Make the rectangle 5 by 1, perhaps. Wait, no. Let's just do it. Let's just do it like this. 3 by 1. And let's turn on rounding. And now we have the first part of our chain. Uh, and let's just make the height 1.5, I guess. And then make sure that the radius rounds the whole shape up like this. So now that we have the first shape, let's put this into a sweep uh, and I'm going to go here and while holding Alt or Option, uh, I'm going to make the rectangle a child of the sweep. Okay, to make this uh, into a 3D object, uh, let's hold Shift and click on the end side here and make the end side, I think, one centimeters. Um, 0.25 should be fine. Maybe a little bit bigger, 0.35. Yeah, this should be good. Let's call this chain link. And now we are going to create the shape that we're going to make to rotate around this face mask here. And we're going to do that with a helix, a helix. And if we zoom out, this helix is really big. So let's just make it five by five and the height maybe 10. Make it stand up like this. Okay. so. We need it to be wrapping around here, so let's just make this 10 by 10. And like this, I think we should be fine. Uh, let's just increase the height to maybe, let's go with 20. And then make sure that we put it minus 10 centimeters into the Z axis, or into the Y axis, sorry, uh, to make sure that this is like rotating around the full shape. Okay. and. What we're going to do now is we're going to go and grab our chain. And put it into a cloner. And put, call this cloner full chain. And what, we're, what we want to do now is um, make sure that the Y axis is to, we put to zero. And then I think with two centimeters, we should be fine. And then we can rotate this 90 degrees. So every time uh, there another part of the chain gets added it will rotate 90 degrees so that will link up okay now that we have this let's just group this one into a null and call this chains and what we want to do is we're gonna go and grab a spline wrap and make it a child of the chains and we're gonna put the helix into the spline and as you can see this might look a little bit weird and if we uh, click on keep length. We actually keep the full length of the spline here. And if we go back to our cloner and increase the count, you'll see that our chain is fully made. And what we want to do once the um, once we put this into uh, Spark AR is I want it to rotate like this. Um, but for now, uh, we can actually delete the face mesh because we made everything according to scale. Uh, according to the scale that Spark AR wants, it is. Um, and um, so now we can delete this and go to File, Export as an FBX material. And I'll just make a new folder real quick. So uh, now we have this finished up. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to uh, import this into Spark AR Studio and actually make an Instagram filter with it. 
Until then, thank you so much for watching. So if you have any suggestions for new videos, please let me know in the comments or join us on Discord. And I want to take the end of this video to thank my patrons for the support that they've given me. Uh, thanks to my patrons, I am able to do Dreadlabs uh, for more hours in the week, which means that I am able to create more content for you guys, more tutorials, more products, more everything. Um, and if you become a patron, you'll get access to all of my project files for every tutorial, as well as a 15% discount at Dreadlabs webshop and Discord privileges as well. So yeah guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.